Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, you're welcome to Friday, the 10th day of September 2021. Our topic today on the Seas of Destiny is the God First Existence, a key to supernatural supplies. The Bible says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Thought for the day. If you want wealth that is sustainable, you must put God first in your life. Mentality has been confirmed to be a key to productivity, to prosperity, as well as to the fulfillment of destiny. A person with a poor mentality cannot control or sustain his resources, even if he is rich physically. No one wisdom that guarantees the flow of resources is exists other than the God first mentality. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. What does this mean to us? If you want wealth that is sustainable, you must put God first in your life. If you don't want to be a rich man today and become a beggar tomorrow, then God must be the center of your wealth. Perpetual wealth like that of Abraham is wealth that is centered on God. Second Chronicles chapter 26 verse 5 says, And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had the understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Uzziah sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had the understanding in the vision of the Lord. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him Uzziah to prosper. And as long as God is first, was God was first in his life, he continued to prosper. But the moment he stopped seeking God, his prosperity stopped. A time came when Uzziah became too big for God. What happened? He ended up and died as a leper. That shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Therefore, put God first in everything that you do. Remember this, that if you want wealth that is sustainable, you must put God first in your life. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to put God first in all that you do. Secondly, honor God always with your substance and your resources in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Say this after me. Say, I receive grace to live with the God first existence. Help me to honor you with my substance and my resources in Jesus name. Amen. Praise God. Now let's look at our reflection today. Who and what drives your life determines your life's outcome, both in time and in eternity. And God's servant says, if God is not on the driver's seat of your life, disaster is inevitable. Please think about it and take some drastic decisions. And that's why I want to pray for somebody today who wants to be born again. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. You want him to wash away all your sins and be the Lord of your life. Pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O God. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. And I declare that you receive the impartation for the God-first mentality, God-first passion, and God-first lifestyle in Jesus' name. And I pray for you today, and I wish you a very happy birthday. I pray that the hand of the Lord shall be made manifest in your life. This shall be your season of greatness, your season of rising. Your expectations shall not be cut off. Your marital establishment is hereby established in the name of Jesus. And everyone whose anniversary it is today, I wish you a happy anniversary. And I wish you God's help in Jesus' name. You have yourself a wonderful day.